the promise to Israel. We are not uh, in the position of believing in replacement theology. Uh, there are many churches today who declare that God has rejected Israel and replaced Israel with the church so that the promises that were made to Israel are now applicable to the church that God is through with the nation of Israel that the church has replaced Israel uh, here on the earth however there is an interesting passage of scripture in the Old Testament where the Lord said that as long as the sun rises in the morning uh, that uh, if you can break this covenant with the sun that it will no longer rise in the morning then you can break my covenant with Israel uh, the sun happened to come up this morning so uh, it hasn't been broken yet and God will yet deal with Israel there is a seven year period uh, in the book of Daniel uh, that God has yet to fulfill with Israel and this will be during the great tribulation and we'll get that um, a little further on now again to these last four churches the Lord is speaking of his coming again and of the rapture and he said here behold I come quickly hold that fast which you have that no man take thy crown and him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God and he shall go no more out and I will write upon him the name of my God the name of the city of my God which is the new Jerusalem which comes down of, uh, out of heaven uh, from my God and I will write upon him my new name and he that hath an ear let him hear we jumped over and I, we need to go back the Lord said in chat, verse 10 because you have kept the word of my patience I also will keep you from the hour of temptation which shall come upon the world to try them that dwell upon the earth faithful to the word of God keeping the word of God because you have kept the word of my patience the promise is you will be kept from the great tribulation now I do believe that a part of the so-called church will go into the great tribulation I do believe that there will be a tremendous awakening of those who have been in church uh, those who have known a little bit and probably made fun of as many of the ministers do of the second coming of Christ of the rapture of the church uh, and uh, they will realize what has happened after it has happened they'll still be here uh, they'll go into the great tribulation and uh, in the next couple of chapters or the next chapter chapter four uh, we will uh, meet well, in chapter 5 meet those who uh, are here on the earth during the great tribulation period and basically we'll see in chapter 6 where they will be martyred for their faith in Jesus Christ and in chapter 7 will come up through the great tribulation on into the kingdom of God but Jesus said in Luke 22 pray ye always he's talking about the great tribulation pray ye always that you'll be accounted worthy to escape these things and of course as we get into chapter 6 and on through chapter uh, 18 uh, when you read what these things are you'll want to pray that you'll be accounted worthy to escape them uh, you surely don't want to be here when the judgment of God comes upon the Christ rejecting world but uh, because you've kept the word now 
back in the church of Thyatira. Because you have allowed that woman to Jezebel to teach and to commit, cause my servants to commit fornication, I will cast her into the great tribulation and those that commit fornication with her unless they repent. So the warning to the church of Thyatira that they will go into the great tribulation unless they do repent. Uh, to the church of Sardis, watch, uh, because I'm going to be coming as a thief in the night. And the importance of watching for his coming if you're to go up into the rapture. Here, uh, because you have kept the word of my patience, you, you've kept the word, I will keep you from ek, out of, the hour of temptation which is coming upon all the world to try those who dwell upon the world. So the promise of the church uh, to be spared the great tribulation period. Um, we'll get into that as we move into Revelation further. Uh, of the church not being in the great tribulation. The um, pre-tribulation rapture of the church. Um, we don't have the time to go into that tonight, but we'll get to it. He that overcomes, make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is the new Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven. And we'll get that in when we get to the 20th chapter of the book of Revelation. Uh, from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. And of course in Jeremiah, uh, it tells us that his new name is Jehovah Tzidkenu, the Lord our righteousness. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And unto the church of Laodicea, this is the apostate church of the last days. And uh, it's all around us. Write these things, saith the Amen, the faithful, the true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that you are neither cold nor hot I would that you were cold or hot so then because you are lukewarm neither cold nor hot I will spew thee out of my mouth because you say I am rich increased with goods I have need of nothing and you know not that you are wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked this is quite the opposite of the church of Smyrna, that church that was suffering. The Lord said to them, I know your works, your tribulation, and your poverty, but you are rich. Here he is saying, you say that you are rich, but really you are poor. You are wretched. You are naked. You are blind, miserable. I counsel thee, he said, to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that you may be rich, and white raiment that you may be clothed, and that the shame of your nakedness does not appear, and anoint your eyes with eyesalve that you might see. And the Lord said, As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, be zealous therefore, and repent. Interesting, even though the church has failed, has become apostate, there are those within it that the Lord loves. And he said, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous therefore and repent. You know, many of the old line denominations have people in them who definitely believe and love the Lord 
And basically, 